Hey, welcome. Today I have a fun little tutorial for you today. We're going to do a fake spilled coffee and then we're going to make some little fake coffee beans to go around it. It's really, really simple and so cute. So if you're new here, my name is Cassie and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to use is uh, some polymer clay. I just have like a kind of chocolatey brown color. Um, and so I'm going to use that to make my little coffee beans. So you just need a small amount for each one. And just condition your clay. So now that my clay's nice and pliable, I'm going to just roll it into a, a ball. And then um, I'm going to make it into... I'm just going to press it out a little bit and kind of get it in more like an oval shape. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and just press it right in the center. And then just kind of use your fingers to shape it how you would like it to look. And that's literally all there is to it. Isn't that so simple? And you can like press in if you want the space to be a little bit smaller where you had your toothpick. Um, you could also use a needle tool if you have one of those and it'll make it a little bit um, smaller of a line there. But I wanted to show using something that everyone has. So there are the little coffee beans. Now let's make our coffee spill. So to make the coffee spill, you're going to need a coffee cup. I got this one at Dollar Tree. Then we're going to need some resin. And I am using Envirotex. That's just because that's what I have. Um, you can use any kind of craft resin. And I'll need a mixing cup. And I'm going to measure this on a scale a postal scale, but you can use a food scale or you can just use a measuring cup. You just want equal parts of the hardener and the resin. So I'm going to um, weigh mine out and then I'll be back and I'll tell you what weight I use. Okay, so I'm back and I have 12 grams of hardener and 12 grams of resin. Uh, so 24 grams total. And I'm just going to stir this for two minutes to get it all mixed together. And I'm going to stir slowly so I don't get a bunch of bubbles in it because coffee does not have bubbles. Okay, so now I have my uh, resin mixed up. And don't be afraid of using resin. It's really super, super easy to use. I was a little intimidated at first, but it's so easy to use. Okay, so we have um, different options for making our coffee color. So if you want to use black coffee, you'll want to use some alcohol ink so that you can get a nice brown color. Um, and it'll be see-through, like um, real coffee is pretty see-through. So I'm going to show you how to make the black coffee first, and then we'll add some creamer to it for those of you that like creamer in your coffee. So I'm just going to use brown alcohol ink, and I'm going to put some drops in, and then I'll see how the color looks. So you can see here, it looks dark in the cup, but as I pull it out a little bit, it's really not very dark at all. And it's going to be spread out around my um, coffee cup for the display. So I want it to have a nice dark color on its own. So I'm going to put some more color in. So that looks like it's getting a little bit closer to the right color. Could probably still use a little bit more. I'm 
Yeah, that looks perfect. Look at that color. That's so good. Okay, so if you were going to do black coffee, that's the color you would want. Just use brown and put it until you get it so that it looks like real coffee. Okay, now I like creamer in my coffee. So for this uh, tutorial, I wanted to make the black coffee, so I used the alcohol ink. If you are just making um, coffee with creamer, you could just use a color like territorial beige or um, like a caramel color um, and just add paint to your resin. You don't even need to use the alcohol ink. I'm adding some classic caramel. Okay, so now I'm getting more of the color that I wanted. So classic caramel is um, a good color to get like a coffee with creamer color. Now I added this to the alcohol ink, so mine's turning out probably a little different than yours will, but you can just use the classic caramel and get this like a nice color. Um, territorial beige will give you a little bit darker. Just play around with the coloring and Get it how you like so i think i like this color i want to put some of my coffee like inside the cup right here as if some of it's still sitting there and then i'm going to put some around here what i'm going to do is put some into my cup but i want it to go back like it was in the cup. So I'm gonna tip my cup back for a second and put some in. So it can run back there. And then I'm gonna pour it back out. Okay, so then I have some of my coffee spill here, so I'm just gonna um, pour some more how I would like it to be. And I wanna make sure to really get it by the edge of the cup because I want to make sure that it and the cup are attached to each other so it can just be like one piece that I can pick up and put it in whatever pattern you like. Now, if you wanted to, you could sit your spoon in here and then you could put some resin in the spoon. You know how the uh, coffee will like pool back here in the spoon. I don't want to ruin one of my spoons and put it in this display. So I'm actually, um, I'll just, after it's dry, I'll just probably sit the spoon there if I want it on my display, but I'm not sure yet. But that's just an option if you wanted. And then I just wanted to show you with the little coffee beans around. Isn't that super cute? Like how cute would that be on your coffee bar? So stinking adorable. Well, and that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for spending your time crafting with me today.